I actually just got back from a week-long trip in the Dominican Republic. It was absolutely off the charts. I spent two nights in Santo Domingo, two nights in La Romana, and two nights in Cap Cana, and I documented the entire process on my Instagram stories. So if you want to check it out, go to the top of Modern Travel Agent's Instagram page, check out the highlights. You can see it split up between Santo Domingo, La Romana, in Cap Cana. In Santo Domingo, I stayed in a beautiful boutique property called the Bijini Hotel in the colonial district of Santo Domingo, which is the oldest city in the Americas. I was walking around checking out, you know, 16th century monasteries, 16th century homes that have been restored to be hotels or to be wedding or event venues. Just an incredible place, an incredible atmosphere, fun music, great food. It was such a cool experience. Then I went to La Romana and I stayed at the beautiful Casa de Campo, which is a 7,000 acre property where every single guest room comes with an own golf cart to be able to check out the property grounds. There's three golf courses, there's an equestrian center, so there's horseback riding, there's skeet shooting, there's all types of just incredible experiences, great service, beautiful accommodations. And one of my favorite experiences was checking out Altos de Chavon, which is a replica 16th century Mediterranean village in the heart of the Dominican countryside. It was just an incredible stay in La Romana. And then I went to the beautiful Cap Cana, this private, exclusive, gated community there. I stayed at Margaritaville Island Reserve Cap Cana. I stayed in the adult-only hammock section. I had a beautiful swim-out suite. I got to see the sunrise come over Juanillo Beach. It was just a beautiful, beautiful experience. And as always, the staff there make the stay special. So if you want to follow along, check out the Instagram highlights at the top of the page, and you can see the full trip in detail.